concern over Chinese capabilities in the Indian Ocean is growing in India. In response, India is making investments in both itself and its neighbors to ensure that Delhi continues to be the dominant force in the Indian Ocean. India is developing its own capability as the initial step in this plan. The Kar Nikobar Air Force Base, where India boasts a 9,000-foot runway, is a notable example of this. To enable it to permanently deploy military transport, patrol and combat aircraft, New Delhi intends to modernize the base's infrastructure. Increasing partnership cooperation is the second component of the strategy. India is therefore making an effort to develop certain coast guard and navy installations in locations such as Mauritius and Seychelles. It is also forging access agreements with other regional countries, notably the French, who are now granting reciprocal access for Indian naval ships to French bases like the significant one of Reunion Island. Reunion Island, the largest French naval base in the Indian Ocean, now gives India far more access to the Western Indian Ocean, where India has historically had a lower presence than the French. As a result, Reunion Island has one of the most technologically advanced naval bases in the Indian Ocean. Outside of India, additionally, the French Navy is unquestionably among the best in the area. India's third strategy pillar in this case is investment in commercial ports, which serves to both prevent Chinese control of these facilities and provide future Indian naval access. The Chabahar port in Iran, which has drawn controversy, is well known. Additionally, India has made investments in locations like Indonesia's Sabang port, where we have already observed an increase in number of visits by Indian Navy warships. All of this is fantastic news for Americans. In controlling and monitoring the waters of the Indian Ocean, it means that India is a more capable partner. It contributes positively to US efforts to increase marine security and domain awareness across the region. India's development of a new information fusion center to integrate radar data from all around the region and bring maritime domain awareness in a significant contributor to this. In addition, India has begun to construct extensive radar networks over some of the smaller developing islands nations in the Indian Ocean, including Sri Lanka, the Seychelles, Mauritius and Bangladesh. So guys, this was for today. Give us your thoughts on this in the comment section. If you appreciate our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your family and friends. We will meet you soon in a new video. Thank you. Jai Hind.